this is the level we've reached to. Seriously, it's out of control with this wearable technology and it's gonna be all through healthcare. And most people are gonna say, oh, this is a great idea. No, it's not. It's meant to monitor you and decide what you should be doing, tracking your every movement. And this is just the beginning. Um, so this is hospitals see the potential in, no, not hospitals, uh, the psychopaths, the CEOs, the CFOs, the financial, uh, the administrative, th which is the same as our government, okay, the psychopaths that think that wearable devices, and wait till you see how many, They're, they, it's all they want to turn healthcare into. We, I, I really, I want the fucking universities stripped of all funding, okay? This is all they do is find ways that they can track you, scan your brain, I'm about ready to swear again, um, and it is an invasion of privacy. And mental health, of course, is where they're, you know, I said, that's who they test everything on. So this is Philadelphia uh, area, Philadelphia area hospitals are rolling um, carts outfitted with video screens and virtual cameras in patient rooms with the hope that remote nurses, remote nurses, can reduce patients' risk of falling, pulling out tubes or hurting themselves another way. How exactly, like th this is the experts, this is what I mean. You are higher educated. You went to these Ivy League universities and you think this, some nurse, which I wouldn't even consider this a nurse, okay? Just saying. <laughs> um, is watching patients on a monitor, what is she going to do if, if somebody is at a, fa a fall risk? Or uh, behavioral health wise, although they, they decided not to use this in behavioral health because there's too many wires to put all the computers in the rooms. But they get around this anyway. This, all this is about is the, the damn financial industry, your World Economic Forum, your fucking CEFOs and CEOs that want to tell you this is about safety when really it's about their back pocket. Bastards. Uh, one remote nurse can do the work of up to a dozen in-person staffers. Does that, to any nurse, does that make any bit of sense? No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. It is cruel. It is absolutely cruel. It's cruel to patients that are sick and suffering and that would like human um, contact. God, like, seriously, can we get the, the psychopaths out of health care, please? But then that would require getting the government out of it. So, yeah, get rid of all these. Oh, just hate this stuff. It's so intrusive. These people have no boundaries. Talk about people that need a mental health evaluation. You higher educated people have no fucking boundaries. Uh, research has found... Uh, so it goes on to say one, uh, one remote nurse can do the work of up to a dozen in-person staffers by watching a bank of cameras stationed in patient rooms and sometimes interacting with patients via video. Research has found these so-called virtual sitters can help reduce patient falls because the nurses on the other end of the camera are not moving from room to room. How is that helping anything? but they're solely dedicated to watching the patient's every move. That's what it says. They're solely dedicated to watching the patient's every move. So how are they going to intervene for safety if the patient's about to fall? But virtual sitters can also introduce their own safety risks. Jefferson Abington Hospital was cited by state inspectors in March for using virtual monitors in behavioral health. Um, rooms and it's what I told you it was the cords because they're a ligature risk a hanging risk Jefferson hospitals follow national guidelines that deem virtual sitters um, that deem virtual sitters acceptable in behavioral health units a spokesperson for the 18 hospital system still Abington administrators removed the carts and assigned staffers to watch the patients making the incident a teaching moment oh, okay, yeah sure uh, Elsewhere, and they, they, it's still, it's not. This is what they're doing because we have to do 15 minute checks on patients. It's always been that way. So there's a staffer that goes around and they check it off. So this is what they're going to, they're bringing to the freestanding psych hospitals. I already worked at one freestanding where they had these. Uh, talk about, you know, just treating, you know, it's like you're a dog. It's this. They'll, everybody will be putting this on. 
Yeah, at the free, and they'll move it into the hospitals, and then they'll move it into all floors. They'll move it eventually into ER, where even if you want to get seen, you'll be putting this on. And you know what? This will, this just like everything, this will be an invasion into your privacy because even though they're going to say this is for your safety, so we always know where you're at and your well-being, you don't know what else this shit can do. They have stethoscopes that are have AI in it. Okay, so anybody that supports this garbage, again, it's only the bankers, it's only the people that want to eliminate as many human beings out of healthcare as possible so that they can save money. That's why they're psychopaths. Can, oh, it's not even worth getting upset about. They're good. These people do whatever they want. Um, so it says here, as far as that monitoring all those cameras, it says Penn medicine nurses have found the effort re required to maneuver the bulky equipment. This is if you're moving it into the patient's rooms. Um, um, it offset the time that virtual nurses would save on the floor. What you'll notice is they're going to use nurses like saying that they support this kind of stuff. And in very rare cases, maybe. But no, they're just saying this because when you read further into it, you find that it's really the, the, the psychopaths, again, the chief financial officers, the CEOs of the hospitals, that they can streamline things so that they know every moment what you're doing to make sure that they are getting the all the money, they every dime they pay you is worth it, worth it to them so that they know exactly what you're doing. Because it goes on to say here, everyone is trying to figure out how to use the technology to improve patient care and safety. No, they're not. No, they're not. The only people that are interested in using this is, again, the psychopaths that are running the healthcare system and, and the, all the professional associations who support all this. Although a Journal of Medicine came out and said they, they won't take a position on this. Uh, at least that's good to say, see, but it would be nice if all those higher educated nurses and doctors, the ones that, that decide all this, could come out and say, you know, a lot of this is an invasion of privacy and you're just trying to um, just call out these psychopaths in the administrative departments because that's all this is about. I mean, it goes further than that, I think, um, into wanting to know even more about you. So then uh, it says here, Penn initially hoped mobile virtual sitters would reduce the need to assign staff to one-to-one -one observation duties. Um, everyone is thinking the technology is going to create such efficiency. So nurses, any nurse that says that isn't really a nurse, even if they got their degree, they're really not. They're a tool, again, for the psychopaths. If you want to be a supervisor, a manager, a chief nursing officer and you're a nurse and you want to be a tool for your um, financial department, then please, quite honestly, please don't call yourself a nurse anymore, really. Um, so I don't, because I don't think most people think this is a good idea. I mean, if people have a brain, that is. Um, but they want to take it this far as far as efficiency. Yes, mobile breast pumps. Where, I'm sorry, wearable breast pumps. This is so like, you know, new mothers who come back to work, they have to go off the unit many times, you know, or a couple times a shift, a few times a shift, depending on the hours they're working. And um, it takes that, you know, few minutes of time where they could really be working for the psychopaths, the CFOs and CEOs of the hospital. Um, that, that They don't like that. No, they, we need something to where while they're working, they can have their breasts pumped. This is how sick these people are. Yep, the AI stethoscopes demonstrates the power as well as the risk of emerging technology. Yeah, more risk. Nothing good. They'll t your peer reviewed has been captured. There are a bunch of psychopaths there as far as I'm concerned because it's all the government controlling this stuff. I don't trust any, any articles coming out. Wearable brain scan tra tracks development milestones in young children. These people are obsessed with children. They really are. The science is obsessed with children, uh, I, I think, in a sick, twisted way, quite frankly. And even this feel, the name of the place, unveils a cutting-edge wearable device paired with AI for emotional and mental health. Well, quite frankly, since these people came up with that, I do not think they are the best people to know how to address mental or well-being at all when it comes to health. These people need to be stopped. I mean legally in some way. This is an invasion of rights.